What's going on guys? It's Austin and today I'm going to show you how to port forward uh, so that your friends can join your Minecraft server. So the other day I made a video on how to make a Minecraft server but you actually need to <clears throat> excuse me, port forward in order for your friends to join your server so I'm going to show you how to do that today. First off you need to, if you're on Windows 7, go down to the start uh, menu and then click on the search and then type in CMD and then right click the CMD run as administrator if you're on Windows 8 press the Windows 8 button type in CMD right click it run as administrator and the OBS screen just went black there but basically what was happening is it was asking me if I was gonna allow this program to make certain changes and I had to click yes so you guys click yes too then next you want to type in IP config so what you see right here is um, your default gateway, which is what you're going to need in order to port forward. So just go to your browser and then type in that default gateway number. So here we go. Yours is going to look a lot different than mine. And there's really no possible way for me to make enough tutorials on the different internets uh, or the different, uh, yeah, I guess internet. But there's no way to, for me to make enough tutorials to show everyone exactly what they need to do. So basically, you just go to go to your uh, default gateway, and then what you need to do is just look in for the place, look for the place where you need to log in. I'm already logged in, so I'll just log out. But look for the place where you log in, and everyone's is different. But if you don't know your login information, um, the best thing to do is to just call your internet provider and ask them for it. But you can just try using admin as a username and just leave the pass, uh, password blank. Mine is username admin pa I cannot talk. Username admin and password admin. So if I type that in, it logs me in. And now I can port forward. So after you've done that, I have to go to setup and then port forwarding. Just just go through all the different tabs on, on yours and just look for port forwarding. Try and find something that looks like this where you can add different ports on uh, TCP and UDP and IP addresses and stuff like that. So what you need to do is you need to open the port 25565. So to do that, as you can see, I have 25565 TCP, TCP and 25565 UDP, and then this 192.168.254.5 is my computer. So it's opening up that port on TCP and UDP, and then it's sending it to my computer, basically. So how do you do that? Uh, right here, you're just going to be set up similar to mine, uh, but it's going to have two of these. It might have two of these and then another set of two of those. Um, just type in 25565 and every single one of them. And then make sure you have it set as TCP. Um, if it says TCP and UDP where you can set it both as one, it says both, uh, then click that and then you only have to do this once. But if it doesn't, then just click TCP, apply, and make sure that this is your IPv4 address. And to find that, just go back to where you typed in ipconfig. Uh, your IPv4 address is right here. Just type that in down here. Uh, yours might be different, of course, but just make sure that that's your IPv4 address. 25565 TCP, and then add it or apply it, whatever you need to do. And then do the same thing again, except this time make sure it's UDP, um, unless you have an option to click both. Then you only need to click both and do it one time. So after you've done that, uh, you're pretty much done and you've port forwarded just remember uh, just go to Google what is my IP address and just make sure that you give your friends this IP address and they should be able to join with no problem if they can't um, then no IP uh, might help or Hamachi might help I'm not gonna do a Hamachi tutorial because I've heard that it can download viruses on your computer so I wouldn't recommend that and I'm definitely not gonna do a tutorial because I'm not gonna risk any viruses but I will do a no IP tutorial which could help with this, so that will be linked in the description once that video is up. Thank you guys for watching. If this helped you, or if you enjoyed it in whatever way, please leave a like, share it. I really appreciate it, and thank you guys for the support that you've been giving me lately, and I'll see you in the next video.